Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create a, a glow behind an image. Basically, I've just got a, a design here, a very strong image, but uh, obviously it depends really on the image itself. So if it's more complicated, messy image, it's not going to work. But if you've got this strong image, add a glow to it. I'm going to go first to the oil paint filter in filter menu. And this is to add a sort of, uh, sort of spindly, surreal, creepy look just sort of smeary there. Stylization has been set to 10, cleanliness 10, all the other settings just back down to zero. Okay, so I'm just going to click that. I'm going to apply it again. I like to apply it a couple of times. Oil paint works nice once, but it also works better sometimes twice, three, four times. So next thing to do, image, adjustments, HDR toning. And this is one of the excellent dialogues it just comes with a whole range of different settings for virtually a whole Photoshop and it's in one dialogue and by default that's not actually generally available so you just have to click there brings down the toning I'm going to go for one of the presets that's serialistic and it's not the quickest of displays especially when you're doing a tutorial it takes a few seconds to uh, refresh it does it quite quickly normally anyway already you can see there's a glow there's actually a glow behind this. So you can actually see tweak some of these other settings if you wish. But the key thing here is actually the toning curve and histogram. And I'm just going to just drag that up. And it does actually tendency to in introduce, and if you don't do it carefully, more points. So I'm just going to just go that far. And now, straight away, you've got a lovely glow behind. Just all the rest of the image is just darker. And you can also make that even more intense just by going to the other end and just drag that down. And you can actually see it makes it darker, sort of more like a vignette effect for the design. So I'm just going to click OK. Uh, that's a reasonable position at this point. And final thing to make it even more sort of spindly and unusual, I'm just going to go for another oil paint, which sort of gives it another sort of smeariness. Great for Halloween, that sort of design. And image adjustments and I'm just going to go for color lookup and this is one of the ones I quite like it's a fairly recent introduction to this one and it's got a whole selection of different color options and you can go for foggy night foggy night's a nice one for creepiness that's a great Halloween sort of uh, surreal ghostly looking spider anyway hope you found this uh, quick tutorial of interest thank you much